What is going on, everybody? It is Sir Swifty the Crypto Ninja here with my sweet no uh, Bazo chat from the Bazo Brothers. Thank you guys. Um, in this video today, we're going to be talking about how to buy Bazoj on the mobile version of MetaMask. I filmed the video of how to buy it online. A lot of people like that. So uh, we're going to go over how to do this. First, uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but there was a big contest on, I think it was like the Binance Facebook page we won. They put together a great ad breaking down what Bazoj is. So if you aren't 100% sure, you just heard the hype and you want to know, uh, this first 10 second clip is going to kind of give you a rundown. But Basically, Bazoj is going to be a really awesome game online, play to earn. Um, there's a lot of different Bazojis. Each Bazoji has a different skill. The Bazojis are NFTs, um, but it's a really awesome project. If you were into Nintendo and you played Banjo-Kazooie or Mario 64, Zelda, you're really going to love this game. But first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have MetaMask. So we're going to go uh, download MetaMask from your uh, your app store, whether you're on your Google phone or Android phone or iPhone. Uh, once you have MetaMask, um, next thing we need to do uh, is create a wallet. Um, once you, you know, when you, as you create a wallet, it's going to give you a seed phrase. Write those words down, put them in a safe Somewhere nobody will be able to find them because that is literally the keys to your wallet. You lose the keys, there's no way to get them back. There's only one set. So write them down. Um, you know, put them somewhere uh, that if anything happens to you or your phone, you know, uh, you can access them um, and get back into your wallet. Or you're going to lose all your gains. All right. Last time I'm warning you. All right. After that, next step is going to be get some Ethereum. Uh, we're going to use the Ethereum to swap over. So you can click the buy button, uh, buy it with your credit card or PayPal. Um, or, you know, like I uh, tend to use Coinbase. So I buy my Ethereum and Coinbase and then I send it out to my wallets uh, for my different transactions. So once you have your Ethereum, um, our next step is going to be to pull up the uh, the menu. Um, it could be a hamburger menu, you know, the three bars. Uh, from there, you'll see the options on the left. We're going to go to our browser, and we're going to visit app.uniswap.org. Right, app.uniswap.org. Make sure you're using the right links. Uh, from here, you should see your Ethereum and the select a token button. Uh, what we need to do now is import. Um, and we're going to import the Bazoj token. Um, so we're going to pull up that, we're going to click that add token from here, right in the search name box, you can type Bazoj, it'll pop up. You're going to see this little import button next to it. We're going to need to click that. Uh, we'll get a little disclaimer saying it's not in our active token list. Uh, if you want to trade it, get it, you have to import it. Um, so once you import it, uh, you'll be able to swap. All right, so you'll choose how much Ethereum you want to convert to Bazoj. Remember, you're going to need some Ethereum for gas fees, right? So we're going to type it in, leaving some Ethereum behind for gas. Uh, next step is going to be adjusting the slippage. It's this little gear icon. Uh, it's typically set to auto, but I think that's only like 1% or so. Uh, Bazoj has a built-in tax, which gets redistributed to holders and gets burned to keep the uh Bazoj token deflationary. Um, so you're going to need to adjust that slippage to a minimum of 2% to cover it. But if there's any price action going on, I always like to give a little bit more to make sure I'm not missing a trade. Because if you fail a trade, you lose the gas and it's kind of a waste of money. So, you know, I'd rather, you know, uh, make sure my transactions go through than have to do them multiple times, especially when there's a lot of volume and gas fees are really high, right? So uh, just that slippage to about 3 4%, whatever works for you. Um, next, we're going to confirm the swap. It's going to give us a breakdown of all the details, our price impact, our slippage, uh, what we're going to be getting. Uh, if you like that, you're going to click confirm swap. All right. This is going to pull up um, the swap information and give us our gas fees. Right now, gas fees are pretty high at $212 for this transaction. So I personally would not, I would wait. Uh, unless I knew that there was some big event happening that's going to really drive price. Uh, but once you find, you know, a period of the day or a time that the gas fees are what you are comfortable paying and that you have enough, you can click that confirm button. Um, you do have some options, though, with your gas. Uh, you can kind of do custom settings. 
Um, those custom settings can be by changing the speed. Um, so if you go to your custom settings, you'll see you have like a low speed, uh, medium or high speed or priority transactions. I always, I, you know, I'll typically stick with medium when you have your slippage adjusted, right? It kind of accounts for this, but you know, going medium or high, um, isn't a bad idea. So high might be a couple extra dollars. Low is a couple uh, less bucks, but I always, my low transactions either get hung up or stuck or end up failing. So it's never worked for me. Um, you can really get crazy and adjust your gas limits and stuff here, but we're not going to talk about this that in this video. Uh, and once you're, like I said, you're happy with everything, you know, save your gas fees, confirm your transaction, you know, uh, wait two to three minutes. Um, and then, you know, that transaction should go through. You should be all set. So that's it for buying Legends of Azogia on MetaMask Mobile. Uh, check it out. Uh, tell your friends. This is a great project in its infancy. Uh, and it's going to go far, people. All right. Hope you liked this video. Hope, hopefully it was helpful. If there's anything I can do, let me know in the comments. Uh, reach out to me, Sir Swifty, on, uh, yeah, Sir Sw at Sir Swifty on Twitter. Um, and I will help you out. All right. Talk soon.